what is good everybody and welcome back to the channel today we are ordering a sneaker on every single sneaker app that you can on your phone now there are the three kings of sneaker apps in the industry that is going to be goat StockX, and ebay now i have ones particular that i prefer to use which i'll talk about in this video we're going to go through and buy a sneaker off of each app and give the user experience of each app and how long it takes them to get here if their shoes come as real or fake because that has happened a lot of times from some of these apps and then we'll compare and let you guys know what is the best app to use in 2023 because we've done this twice before but things change every single year these apps develop and get better or worse now something a little bit tricky about this video is like i told you guys i don't order off stock x anymore but i also am banned so nick is going to be ordering a pair of sneakers I'm off of stock x designated stock x guy today yep. my account is not banned so he's buying it it's not me stock x you're watching this. he's buying it it's his shoe but we're gonna give that experience i'm gonna get banned no he's using the app normally if you guys don't know i got banned because the shoe didn't get delivered then they decided not to give me the shoe or a refund and so i put a charge back and now they banned me because i did charge back that's why All right, so we're gonna start off with the app Goat, where I'm not banned. And the reason we're gonna start there is because for me, off of prior experiences, this is the one that has been number one for me, and this is the one that I order all of my shoes off of, and there's a couple reasons why. But there are some downsides to Goat. So we open up the app user face right here, and you can see you have a recent release right here. This is one of the new Jordan 4s. One of the things that I don't necessarily love about Goat is the layout of the app. You come on the app, I wanna be able to see a lot of the recent releases. You go scroll down a bit, you do see just dropped a few different pairs. You scroll down more and they do have some kind of interesting articles and things like that, but not the same as StockX and user experience. One thing I did notice when you scroll over to the left and put calendar, you do see some of the stuff that has dropped recently, which I do like that. Now, when it comes to buying a shoe, we're gonna go ahead and search here. I don't know what to buy. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna buy the Union LA AJKO. So what I'm gonna do is instead of, it's showing on the gesture, I'm gonna search it. I'm gonna go to the search. I'm gonna type in Jordan one AJKO. I'm gonna click this here, and this is how the app looks. You see the shoe in the center. There's a lot of wasted space here, to be honest. And on the bottom, you see the pricing. I'm not a huge fan of how that pricing is laid out. You do get used to it, but it is not as good as StockX, in my opinion, for, as far as laying out the pricing. So we're gonna come over here and we're gonna go and find my size. Now you scroll over to a size 11 and you can see you have $171, best price, new in box. One thing that they offer at Goat that they don't offer on the other apps is instant shipping. So there's a price difference there. $218 compared to $171. That's a $47 price difference, if my math is correct. Shoe does not have to go through authentication. So when you buy a shoe normally, the cheaper price right there, you buy it, the seller has a couple days to ship it, two, three days to ship it, then it goes to Goat, has to do that shipping time through Goat, that's probably five days, and then it has to go from Goat to you once it gets authenticated and verified. When you have that $218 price shoe, that is already authenticated and verified and is already ready to go and be shipped. Now, I believe that they have a partnership with, I think that it's Flight Club that they work with. So those pairs are coming from Flight Club, I assume, or they just come from a couple different partners that they have throughout that they're verified. So what we're gonna do for the purposes of this video is we're gonna buy the cheaper pair that most people are buying. I sometimes will use the instant ship because it's not that much different and I don't wanna wait two weeks for a pair. But we're gonna go ahead and go to select right now. We're gonna come down to the fees and everything. So total is $171. Next, the shipping is $14.50. That is standard throughout. It's the same price every time. Then you have estimated tax of $16.52. So there's no additional fees or anything that come from StockX side for authentication, but you have their shipping fee, which that's probably worked in. It used to be $12.50 for the shipping, as Nick just pointed out, but it is $2 more, and that's probably where they're adding that in. So our total is gonna be $202.02. Now, one thing that it is cool about Goat is you also can store them. You can put them in storage where they basically hold your sneakers for you if you wanna buy them at a specific price. I'm not gonna do that for this instance. I got a warehouse to hold the shoes if I want to, but that is a pretty cool feature. Which, if you actually do that, the price goes down to $167. Now, I wonder how that works with getting shoes later. So, we're gonna go ahead and pay $202.02 and get the AJKO size 11, $171. All right, order is confirmed. Now, one cool thing about Goat is really cool. When you go over to the page after you've ordered it, it says your order's been placed. You may cancel your order within three hours of placing it or before it's confirmed by the seller, whichever comes first. This is incredible because on other apps like StockX, if you place the order, they're not canceling it, they're not giving you your money back, nothing anything like that. Go gives you a three hour window if you regret purchasing it. If something comes up, you can't purchase it. Anything like that. The seller also has three hours to confirm it, which if they don't confirm it, then I believe you have to place the order again. But I think that is a really cool thing by Goat, and I think they're doing a lot better in that regard for that. So the day we ordered this was February 14th. Happy Valentine's Day. So you will see this purchase from Goat whenever it gets here, and we'll tell you guys the order that they came in. 
I don't know what's gonna come first. What do you guys think? All right, guys, gonna hop in here and give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video, which is gonna be Guardio. Guardio keeps you protected with things like alerts on fake shopping sites, phishing detection, as well as identity monitoring. And that means you get real time alerts when your data is exposed. So how will Guardio help you guys? Well, when you're shopping for sneakers, there are tons of fake ads for different things that pop up on different websites. When you're shopping, Guardio helps let you know when these different websites are real or fake, as well as any membership you have with any legitimate company can result in a data breach. And Guardio will let you know when that happens and it does happen a lot. Also be protected from delivery scams and payment scams. I don't know if you guys have gotten emails like I have personally, where you get an email that says like, you missed this payment or this payment is due. You sent this payment. They will let you know when those emails come in, if they are real or not. Guardio has over 1 million users and they're featured by Google. And the most important thing of this is to keep your information secure, have real time alert and protection. And you can start with a free security scan. They have a special offer for you guys. As my viewers, you can get 20% off your monthly subscription by using guard.io slash Harrison, as well as the link will be on the screen. That's guard.io slash Harrison and get 20% off your monthly subscription. And thank you to Guardio for sponsoring this video and keeping information safe. So before we go ahead and allow Nick to purchase, I'm just gonna show you on the app what it looks like. I'm just using the app. My app, I'm still allowed to use it. I just can't make a purchase without logging in. How it looks when you open it up, what I do like is when you open up the app, you get the different categories right here. Sneakers, shoes, apparel, electronics. StockX does sell a lot more different products than apps like Goat not eBay, but they sell all different kinds of things. Today, we're obviously looking at sneakers. Now I'm gonna let Nick pick the shoe that we buy. I'm just gonna show you how the process works on here. Of course, recommended for Nick is gonna be Strange Loves at the top of the list there. But there is a bunch of different shoes. You can see kind of some recommended, popular brands, recently viewed, trending sneakers. What I like about the trending sneakers is they have 80,900 results and you just scroll through and see what's new. I like that about them. I like how this is kind of laid out. Now, one of the popular shoes that's coming out is gonna be the uh, 85 Panda Jordan 1s. It's gonna be a popular shoe. Right now, they're at like 337 for size 11. So how this works with the pricing and all that, you see at the top, you have your size. It says buy for $337, sell for $330. So you easily can see that. You can also see the last sale and market data, and you can kind of see what the highest bids are. You can see what the recent sales are and when they were to kind of gauge if you're getting a good deal. I, I do like that about the layout of their app. So when it comes to size, you click the size and it pulls up every size that they have available and a price. And I, I like that because if maybe you're an 11 or 11 and a half, you can see side by side what the prices are. Obviously, uh, Goat does that as well. But you can see 337 for 11, 358 for 11 and a half. There is a price difference there. Then to go in and see what the actual price is, you press buy and you scroll over and it shows you the price, but it doesn't show you all the fees. I don't like that. And I've said that before. Goat gives you the fees when you get to the checkout and it shows you all the fees, which we'll break down a little bit more with Nick when he goes and purchases, but we have a sales tax, a processing fee and a shipping fee. Their processing fee says includes processing and verification services. Now, one thing that StockX took away is they took away the guaranteed authentic marker on the app. So there's nowhere that they're guaranteeing authenticity. Why did this happen? I think there's pressure from Nike. I think they're also doing some NFT stuff with some Nike shoes and Nike was suing them for that. And I think that it is because they cannot fully guarantee the shoes being real. And a lot of people have problems with fake shoes from StockX. A lot of people have problems from all the apps from getting fake shoes. But specifically with StockX, I know there's a lot and they taking away that guaranteed authenticity was a red flag for sneakerheads. But what I do think is a majority of people who are using StockX now are probably the general public more than like, I don't know, I feel like true sneakerheads or people who've been to sneakers for a long time have different apps that they like to use. And a lot of people don't use StockX. I'm one of them. I think like people, a lot of people use Goat. I think that's kind of like one of the staples, but I think StockX is used by the mass. And uh, I think they built themselves as a, as a good app for that because it's easing use of the app and all that. So now we're gonna have Nick pick a sneaker and buy. All right guys, so I'm teaming up with the Static ATL to go ahead and give away a pair of Tiffany Air Force Ones and a size eight. Rules for a giveaway are very simple. You have to one, subscribe to this YouTube channel right here. Number two, follow me at Harrison Neville over on Instagram. Number three, follow at Static ATL over on Instagram. The username will be on the screen as well as in the description. Number four, leave a comment on the post that you see on the screen, tagging two friends for this giveaway. We'll be picking the winner in three weeks time. 
Good luck. Get you paired these Tiffany's before skyrocket in price. All right, guys. So I'm pulling up my StockX account on the app. Just updated my information and everything to make sure everything's cool with this. But I don't know what kind of shoe we should go for. Like, what kind of price range should I stay in? Let's go to, I guess, go to trending sneakers. Let's see what's on trending sneakers. A few dunks, some Jordan 1s. Okay, cool. So the Nike SB Dunk Low Adobe is selling right now for $130. So I think this would be the perfect shoe to do. Really cool colorway. The red is cool. And I'd like to see what this shoe looks like coming from StockX now that they don't have the authentic, they do not say new and authentic anymore. It just says new. So I don't know if that changes anything. They're still gonna be having their authentication process, but who knows? First thing that I gotta do to make this purchase is gonna be, you're gonna go to buyer bid, and then it's gonna say buy now, which is pretty simple, buy now, $139. But once you click review order, we're about to find out how much this is actually about to be. So $139, what do you think that turns into trying to get a shoe from StockX? 171. Close, $173, you were really close. So you got $14 in sales tax, understandable, a $5 processing fee, and $15 shipping. It does say new, unworn, in original box, StockX verified. You do get a little bit of a verification thing once you get to your review screen, which I didn't know that. So we're gonna place the order. Order confirmed, Nike SB Dunk Low Adobe in a size 11. There you go, 173. It says the seller's allowed two full business days to ship, but that's only when it's you that's shipping the shoe, not whoever you buy the shoe from, and that's fact. They say our expert authenticators will verify the product when it arrives, and you'll receive a tracking number as soon as your item leaves StockX, so. so the last app is going to be eBay. Now, eBay has more recently gotten into the sneaker game. We've known about this. They added a new authenticity guarantee to some of their purchases of sneakers on the app, which adds a verification side of things we're gonna get into. Now, I'm trying to think of a shoe that I should get. One thing that I've noticed is the shoes on eBay that have the authentication guarantee, or we'll look at the exact wordage, they tend to be a little bit more expensive than you'd find elsewhere. So I'm gonna actually look up right now the Union AJKO that we just bought and see what the price difference would be on that from StockX, sorry, GOAT. So authenticity guarantee, AJKO, Jordan 1 Union Low, size 11, that for 240, that's the authenticity guarantee. Now, if we, the only fees that are involved are shipping and tax, which are still applicable from the other apps. And so their shipping is $14.95 plus tax of $19. So that makes it $274.71. Whereas on GOAT, it was $20202. So it's $72 more to buy from this specific person on eBay. One of the shoes uh, that I wanted to get, there's one, the one that got me banned off of uh, StockX. I think I should buy that one. Um, that's gonna be the Stranger Things Nike Blazer. Now I've had a couple pairs of these, have plenty of them, but I wanna get a fresh pair. And uh, now that the season isn't happening, I think it's a, a better time to buy it. Size 11, a used pair for 80 bucks. That's a deal. Which one should I get? Mm, a brand new size 13. Size 11, brand new, dead stock for $200 on this tip. Authenticity guarantee. Now, when you go to a listing with that, you'll see the check there. But when you scroll over, you'll say eBay's authenticity guaranteed video. You can go watch the video. It basically is letting you know about their authentication and how they do it, their experts and whatnot, which actually the technology and information or the authentication on 99.9% .9 certain is uh, from the SeekerCon app. They developed the whole system and, and now they've combined with eBay. Um, so that's gonna be that. We're gonna come down here and check this out, check out the listings. This is the different aspects of this from the other apps. This gives individual listings from the sellers. This is not the app's information on it. And they basically tell you what's included. Upside down, complete with original box, Starcourt Mall map, and three pin set. He's the original owner, never worn. When you go to authenticity guarantee, no fakes, no fraud, no doubt. Shop collectible sneakers and authenticity guarantee. That is a statement compared to stock X not saying anything. They're saying, we can't say that this is authentic. eBay says, no fakes, no fraud, no doubt. We're gonna go ahead and buy. We're gonna go to buy now. $200 is the price on there. And then you can actually make an offer as well. The fee is $14.95 for shipping. The tax is $16.66, bringing us a total of $231.61. Now, I'm gonna go over to GOAT and see what I'd be paying. Brand new size 11, lowest ask, best price is 360 bucks. I'm getting a deal. All right, we're gonna press confirm and pay right here, $231. And then we're going to check out, we're processing, we're processing, we're processing. Your order is in, you should receive it by February 28th. And it asks you want to save the seller, order total 231. So we will now go ahead, check back in, in a certain amount of days time when these things get delivered. Now, each is gonna be coming at a different time and we will let you guys know once they're all here, give you the days of the process, how long they took, what's a better service. We will see you guys in just a second. You can't make this up. 
I was just looking for the package from StockX. So look, I was like, where's this at? It should be here by now. I had Nick send me the tracking. He says it was delivered five days ago. Then I'm like, that's weird, it's not here. Go check, it hasn't been delivered. I go check the tracking. This freaking shoe from StockX was straight up stolen. Lovely. I'm gonna give more details. I wanna get to the warehouse. This is literally my reaction as I just figured this out. So um, let's go back to the warehouse and, and recoup all this. Of course it had to be stock eggs, of, of course. The saga continues with different packages. The eBay package was supposed to be delivered yesterday, and apparently Lasership, who's shipping it, which is odd that's coming from Lasership, I've never had that before, saying it couldn't be delivered yesterday at 11 a.m. Now this one particularly was going to my P.O. box, and the P.O. box is open from 8.30 to 6.30, and they said it couldn't be delivered at 11. Now, this P.O. box I confirmed takes deliveries from Lasership all the time, so they are confused as why it wasn't delivered, but they said it's supposed to be delivered today. I called Lasership, they weren't any help. So I hope we don't end up with freaking one package out of three. That would be insane. For the StockX package, I had to open up a case of reported a missing package. It showed a driveway of delivery, just the ground, the concrete, and where it was being delivered, there was literally no concrete driveway or anything like that. So definitely stolen. Okay, this is not good. The package from eBay said it got delivered at 9.30 last night, which is not possible because my PO box closes at six, which I told them that it has to be there before six because it is a UPS store PO box. The UPS store location closes at 6.30. The UPS store said they accept laser ship and they will accept it if it's there. I, I confirmed the proper address with laser ship. I called them, I said, please, Let's confirm the addresses. We both compared the exact same address. They said they're gonna deliver it. So it says delivered at 9.30. Well, you can't deliver, well, if you delivered it, it'd be sitting outside of the store. So it's currently 8.20, the store doesn't open until nine. I'm gonna go see if it's just sitting out there. And if it's not, then the package has to be gone. I'm, this is two out of three shoes, guys. We've, we've got one shoe in. This is the first time we've like lost packages in a video and literally it's gonna be two of them. I hope it's there. I hope it got delivered earlier in the night and they haven't notified me yet, uh, but I can go in the UPS store while it's closed because I have a key. So we'll see what happens. All right, I'm outside UPS store. Guess what? No package. Sick. Because I had a package um, that had said they tried to deliver it on Monday. Then yesterday it said it was out for delivery. Then it said it was marked delivered, but before it was marked delivered, it said they couldn't deliver the package and it's delayed 20 minutes before in a different state. And then now it's saying deliver, but it actually wasn't uh, delivered because the business they were delivering to was closed at the time that they marked it delivered. Please sorry that you did not receive your package and the address that we have as well. Yes, that address is correct. Okay, so I can see state this package was delivered at um, 9.23 p.m. And I do understand that you did not receive your package. It says the package has been delayed in Ashburn, Virginia at 9 o'clock and then... 23 minutes later said delivered. Yeah, that's a bit strange. I can also see the same here. Was this one stolen too? It was marked that it can't be delivered and delayed in Virginia at 9 p.m. And then it's marked delivered at my delivery address 23 minutes later. just had a success. We were at the laser ship headquarters here, or headquarters, I don't know if it is, here in Atlanta. And uh, I just drove 30 minutes and got the package. That was crazy, all to get a freaking package. What we're going, this is the craziest experience of getting packages from an app ever. That one was from eBay. We'll discuss when we get to the warehouse. Let's talk about delivery dates and how long each app basically took to get delivered. So the first app up that we received the quickest, the one that I honestly used the most was Goat. We received the order in three days. Now, that was not the instant ship priority shipping. That was just the regular shipping. Now, this stuff varies because I purchased a lot of shoes from Goat. I've had shoes take 17 days. I've had shoes take five days. It all varies based off of the seller, where the shoe's located and when you're gonna get it. For this particular instance, it took three days, which is really good. That's from ordering it to deliver to my doorstep. So the next package that was actually delivered was eBay and we got that today. I had to go pick it up because they couldn't deliver it. You guys saw the mess. 
That from ordering to now is 17 days that it took to get this package. Now, the elephant in the room, the app that I'm banned from, the app that I can't use anymore, StockX, allegedly, we'll say allegedly stolen. So this is what happened. Order was placed February 14th on Wednesday, February 22nd at 11.38 a.m. It says delivered. The picture it shows for proof of delivery is a driveway. Now, where we had this package being delivered, there is no driveway. There is a person at a front desk who takes all the packages and signs for them. This says that the package was signed for. Doesn't say who it was signed for by, and we don't have the package. How coincidental that happens to be StockX. And this, Nick, this is real. I'm, I'm not doing this to hate on StockX. I just think it's crazy that the entire process I went through, I ordered the shoes, I did everything, and they still got stolen. Like, this is not fake, and this is wild. Is that on StockX? Really, no. But the only problem is that the StockX is putting their SMOT on the line. So they used to put StockX on, like, the return line. If they're putting SMOT on there, everybody knows that, as well as... There's a big problem with shoes being stolen from FedEx, from all these different things, because somebody sees a sneaker box like this, they know that's the shape of a sneaker box. They know that that's what's gonna be in there. At this point, they definitely know the size yeah. of the sneaker box. I mean, if I'm, if I'm somebody who's into shoes at all, I see this and I'm like, yeah, that's probably a sneaker. So that is a big issue. Maybe we're gonna have to start duping packages and stuff, uh, but let's go ahead and open up the first one that came in, which, and we'll go into more detail on the StockX thing and all that uh, once we get going. Let's open this one up. This is from Goat, and what we ordered, if you guys remember, was the Union Jordan 1 Lowe's. So we have to hope we get the shoes that we ordered in here. This is a little bit of packaging here. Here is the Union box, nothing else in there. And we open this up. This is a size 11, so we got our size. Goat comes with a sticker. It also comes with this little checklist here that shows what they've gone through, and then, Jordan, Jordan Union, packaged nicely. Everything seems to be in here, and here is the shoe. Boom, right there. I'm actually excited to have these. So, Goat does not do a uh, hang tag on their shoes. We know eBay and StockX do. Those can be fake, but we'll get into that more. We have extra swooshes here, extra laces. Everything came with the shoe, and these are brand new dead stock. Very, very strong rubber smell, though. We've had it where we do our like videos where we like compare real to fake shoes. The fake ones smell really rubbery, but for now, the shoes look good and uh, everything with that. So that was go three days. And again, all these experiences vary. And maybe the next time we do this, we will order two shoes off of each app just because there's no room for any argument with it. Uh, two different shoes. So next is gonna be eBay. So the eBay one, there was an issue with laser ship. They, I don't know why they're using laser ship, but for whatever reason, they couldn't deliver to my UPS PO box, which takes deliveries from there often. Uh, luckily, I was able to call them before they sent it back and hold it for pickup, and I was able to go pick it up. So it would have been delivered probably four days ago, so it would have been 13 days total. When you get an eBay one, they have their own custom boxes for this. So it says, meet your soulmates, and then you have eBay authenticity guarantee right here. Like we said, StockX doesn't have authenticity guarantee anymore on their packages. So we pull this out, we get a little bit of bubble wrap. Looks like there's an eBay card on the bottom, so you get this right here. This card shows, authentic without a doubt, we're thrilled to deliver the latest edition of your collection. The enclosed pair have been meticulously inspected by our SneakerCon authenticators. So, if you guys don't know, the technology of authentication for eBay was purchased by eBay from SneakerCon. So, uh, it says, to view your sneakers authentication details, you hold an NFC-enabled device near the authenticity guarantee tag, you'll receive a prompt. If the tag doesn't scan automatically, you can decode the app and try again. You have to view the detail about your sneakers, enjoy your sneakers, says authenticity guarantee. So what eBay does that is different from any other app is that they have the scan tag on there that you can actually scan and see the details of your shoe. We sold Whistling Diesel a pair of Air Mags. He was able to verify that they're authentic through that scanning tag on there, which I think is useful. Now, the shoe that we bought off of here is a unique one because it is not a recent release and uh, it's a specific person selling their shoes. So this was authenticated. I believe this was probably put on there by eBay to, for their authentication. So let's open this up. This is the one I was excited for. I was gonna be actually upset if this one was gone because this isn't out anymore. This is Nike Stranger Things. You guys already know. Starcourt Mall. You can see the whole little blueprint there of Starcourt Mall. And this is the Upside Down Blazers. So what's really cool about these, you have the Starcourt Mall blueprints right there. Can't talk blueprints. And then we have the Blazers. Now I've had these many times before, but I thought we could get a fresh pair. Came with the little pins here, which is pretty cool. And then here is that tag, as you can see eBay authenticity guarantee. They use the words authenticity guarantee for their 
stuff. So what I'm gonna do is hold my phone close to the reader and I think this should work. Here we go. Website NFT tag, NFC, whatever. Look, check by authenticity guarantees. Item was authenticated by experts on February 22nd. And then it shows all of the authentication guarantees, all of that. So really good detail. That is a level above of any of the other apps that eBay offers. But I will say the uh, variety of shoes on eBay is a little bit different. The prices are a little bit weirder. It's harder to gauge what the market value is of shoes. I would use another app like StockX to go see what the price is and then see if it's good on eBay. The shoe that you're buying on eBay is most likely gonna be the exact shoe that you're getting unless they have like multiple sizes. But like this one was gonna be the exact one that I get. The cool reason I bought this one is because this material here burns away and it shows the upside down underneath. I'd have to, might have to do some with that here soon. But these look to be brand new, dead stock and I'm pretty hyped on that. All right guys, we're on the sim. We're gonna talk about StockX and what shoe we ordered. So this is a set of Corsa. This is the content manager actually, if you don't know. I'm going backwards. All right, if you guys haven't seen me on the sim before, shout out to Podium One, they're the ones I got it from. Um, we're gonna just do, do this while we're talking about StockX and all that. All right, we're in a La Ferrari right now. We ordered a Nike SB Adobe. That was the shoe that we ordered from StockX. Now, wasn't inherently super expensive. I think it was like a 200. To... This is how he drives in real life, guys. Exactly. I have been around a turn similar to that, but I saved it. <laughs> so the shoe we ordered from StockX was the Nike SB Adobe's. Nothing crazy, like 180, $200. And um, I mean, I think what happened is maybe somebody saw the box. Maybe there's another detail to it that I'm missing out on. Maybe I shouldn't be thinking that, but I know there are a lot of people who have had issues with FedEx specifically stealing packages lately. So that's one of the problems. I have not had that experience with um, Goat or eBay. There's conspiracies that it's an inside thing that StockX, FedEx work together or something like that, but um, I'm not gonna be the one to say that. I don't know what's going on there. Mm, sorry for your FRS. So when it comes off the ordering apps, which am I gonna you know, say for you guys to go with? For me, it's easy. I, I personally go with GOAT. Now, I can't actually purchase off of StockX. Like I said, I was banned and that was because uh, my package didn't get delivered. So I did a charge back to my bank because they refused to give me my money back and they refused to give me the shoe and blah, 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 blah. And so they decided to ban my account even though I spend, would probably spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on there every year, but what can I do? So. Now I mainly buy through GOAT. Haven't had any bad experiences. The only thing I've had is like, I've had some longer wait times. Uh, that was around Christmas, definitely they were backed up. But other than that, it's been pretty smooth. eBay has been decent as well. The laser ship is a little bit odd. I've never had anybody really deliver laser ship when it comes to sneakers. So um, that's where it's at. So I don't know if you guys are enjoying watching me go through traffic. This is how this is Nick and I are bobbing and weaving through traffic like this normally. That is my conclusion for this. I don't know. I just can't believe the package from StockX got stolen. Like of all packages to get stolen, of course it's that one. Man, move! Sesto Elemento and a dang Mustang. There we go. No crashes, we're solid, man. All right, so we'll probably do this once a year, do this app thing, and the next one we're gonna go two shoes from each app, just so there's a little bit more of a, a timeline and more shoes to use, but um, that's gonna be it, guys. I thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like down below. I will see you guys in the next one. This is Harrison signing out.